The next day, Tangal and his troop start their travel to the, in the mountain. The captain think they could go through in three or four days. The bandits would be a possible danger in the first day until they would leave the principal roads to go in the mountainous routes. However, there could be other problems, especially the population of the mountains. Alchemists, elves, werewolves, or even dragons could attack them, and even without that, the mountains in themselves were dangerous. It was why I decided to not confront either with snow, but later, because it needed our abilities during the travel. We would think about what to do when they were at Odprisk. Until that moment, he counted on Siderus to have a look on her. Rengar seems to be the less suspicious with the alchemist. The captain was annoyed by this. The veteran was the only of his men who really participated to the war, and he seems to have something to hide. The other interrogation was a priest of Trismark. If other members of the temple were to run like him, the objective of purification of the temple will never be real. There will be storm, said Idris. Her and Tangal were scooting the way until four or five hours, but they stayed in silence until now. The inqu Inquisitor looked up and saw black clouds in the sky. Yes, I hope we will find a shelter be before it starts, said Captain. You amaze me, me, you know, said the alchemist. You dedicated your life to kill for religion and you don't even try to read the foundation of it. You should be careful about what you say, and forget that we are going to the state of the temple, said the soldier. The young woman had a nervous laugh. If I didn't know what is really the trust of Veb in Vebeli, I could be desperate about that world, she said. I will, not care. I will not take care about this discussion for that time, but don't abuse my kindness, said the captain. They continued to travel until the, until the end of the afternoon when the storm starts. They quickly started to research something to pass the night. They finally found an old house. Tangal fractured the door and entered in the building. It seemed to be abandoned for a long time. The framework was obviously wicked but will resist for the for the for this night. They bring the rest of the troop in the place. Rengar take a plan of the mountain to see what is still to do. Well, tomorrow we will start the ascent of the mountain. The first part will be exhausting but not really dangerous. It was the Mount Calfrey, with a big height difference. Rengar proposed to make a break on the mountain peak. When it was a narrow ridge. I think we should try to pass in it, it in one day. It seems to be a bad idea to try it during the night. Tengar was agree, but they could not pass a night on the mountain. After the ridge, there was a steep slope which would bring them in a small valley. It would be a better idea to sleep in. But that means they would have to leave early in the morning. The day after, they lived at the dawn. The first part of the travel was quiet and easy, but at the middle, the most injured of the soldiers started to have difficulties to keep up the place. They arrived to the top of the mountain with two hours late, and they had to make a short break. During the crossing of the ridge, Idris set foot on the ground to allow Ralgad, the weakest of the, of the men, to use a horse. Tungal imitated her a little time later. They arrived to regain. They arrived to regain a normal rhythm. They succeeded to reach the valley shortly after dusk, and then to find a barn, which would surely have been built to the summer pastoralism. It would be inefficient to pass the night with a, with a good rest. Tungal had a look to the map of the mountain. The hard part will be there. They will have to climb again a steep slope and then a narrow way which was no for, for the instable ground. Moreover, they were at the end of the winter. The snow was certainly sliding and weakening. In addition, they will necessarily pass in a in night in altitude. Maybe two, if they were so, slow. The captain had another preoccupation. If Idris wanted to betray them, 
it will be the perfect place to do it. The Inquisitor decided to put her in the middle of the middle in the column. Before Cedarus. Like this, she will be watched by some somebody in which Tungal could trust. Moreover, he would give he, give to him the black blade he found to prevent her to use her magic. The problem was Rangar. Tangal didn't know how he could react in the case of a treason. He finally decided to travel in first with him to be able to prevent the veteran to help the young woman. After he finished the, organi the organization of the column, he gave the black blade to Cyrus and explained to him his mission. Then he went to sleep. <laughs>